A very good morning to you. Welcome to our Bird Notes. This is Dwight Davis. So here we are at the fourth day of Christmas. And what is the present to be given today? According to the song, most of us need a second or two to sort this out. The cumulative gifts in the 12 Days of Christmas song can get a bit confusing. Except, of course, for the five golden rings, which sticks in everybody's memory and usually elicits the loudest singing of all the verses. The Twelve Days of Christmas was first published in a children's book in England in 1780, without the tune that we use today. That was added in 1909. Over the years, there has been considerable variation in the lyrics. The gift for today, according to the current reading of the song, is four calling birds. Prior variations include four canary birds, four colored birds, and four collie birds, spelled variously C-O-L-L-I-E, C-O-L-L-E-Y, or C-O-L-L-Y, the latter used in the original lyric. So what is a collie bird? It's thought that the reference is to coal, think colliery, an English term for coal mine. And by extension, the reference is to dark colored or to black. Now that seems a logical explanation. Black birds are common in England, and according to another children's rhyme, are often baked into pies. But let's veer far afield now and consider another, albeit very unlikely, explanation. Might the four collie birds actually be collies. It's a thin thread, but we'll use it to talk about this most unusual bird. There's a group of birds living in sub-Saharan Africa that continue to defy easy classification. There are six species, all in the genus Coleus, which is in itself in its own order, Coleiformes. The Coleus show no close affinities to any other group of birds. They're about a foot long, dingy gray or brown with tiny beaks and crests and very long tails, a rather attractive little bird. They are very acrobatic, scurrying through the foliage like rodents, which gives rise to their common name, mouse birds. They have reversible outer toes, a bit unusual, and long claws, the better for climbing, and some can sleep hanging upside down. They eat fruit and berries and buds and insects and are nuisance to farmers. Scientists are still trying to figure out where these birds fit in avian classification. Apparently, they were much more abundant in prehistoric times, and some fossils seem to indicate a relationship with parrots. We're just not sure, and the investigations continue. Meanwhile, whenever I hear the 12 Days of Christmas song, and the fourth gift is mentioned, I think, for just a moment, of the peculiar little collie birds.